Some days you look in your closet and feel overwhelmed. Or you just don't feel your best. Those days I have some easy and fast ways that I do to feel more put together and chic. And I thought I would share these with you. But let's begin with something fast and affordable, but very important. Your nails. Cut clean and maybe a polish makes you look put together and well groomed. I always take care of it myself because I don't have the time to sit in the salon. And I love minimalistic and shorter nails. But if you want a lovely little luxury for yourself, then go to a salon or buy a little manicure set to pamper yourself. Second tip, put on some lipstick. Or a tinted lip balm if your lips are dry and chapped. Lipstick gives your face life. Especially if you're not feeling well. It does not have to have a strong color, just something that brightens. I can look very grey in my face when I'm pale in the winter. So a little color on my lips and cheeks makes me look more alive. This is a tip on out-of-pilot pieces or outfits. And this is mine. It's pieces or an outfit that you can trust and rely on on days you don't know what to wear or don't feel your best. Be an outfit repeater, because what once gave you joy will do so again. This is an easy outfit that I can chuck on fast and look chic even when I'm maybe not feeling on top or it's that time of the month. On those days, jeans are the last thing I want to wear. And it's easy to fall in the trap of sweatsuits. A pair of soft, wide, silk or satin trousers with an elasticated waistband is perfect for those days. This is just as easy to put on as a sweatshirt and sweatpants and comfortable. Keep in mind that silk do crease a lot more than satin. Paired with a soft oversized sweater for comfort and you will still look chic and put together. If you have to go out, you can tie a scarf around your neck for a little bit more of an interest. Next tip is if you love a sweatsuit. Elevate that outfit, but still keep it quite comfortable. Choose one of the pieces to switch out. For example, if I want to wear my sweatshirt, then I'm switching the bottom out for a pair of comfortable trousers that maybe have an elasticated waistband in the back. Or, if you want to have your sweatpants, choose a comfortable but more elevated top, like a nice slim turtleneck. If you're someone that loves to wear a full sweatsuit a lot, then why not invest in them? Buy a little bit more elevated ones and style them up with a blazer, sunglasses and some jewelry. Tip number five is Go monochromatic. Easy and fast wardrobe coordination since we already know we can match green with green and brown with brown. So it takes most of the guesswork out of how to match different colors in an outfit. Whether you are running casual errands or going out with friends, selecting neutrals or shades within the same color family like cream, white, black, etc. will make you look chic and elegant and also elongates your silhouette, making you appear taller. Costume designers often employ monochromatic dressing in movies to convey success and power on screen. It does not have to be the exact same shade, but the closer the better. It's not super important, but don't neglect different texture on the pieces, which can create depths and make the outfit look less flat. Next, a cord. It always elevates. Cords are effortless and takes the guesswork out of putting together a nice outfit. Easy and fast. And on days that you have more time to put together an outfit, you can wear the pieces separately to make other outfits. Find a comfortable one that you can wear at home but that are elevated enough to go outside if you have to. 
7. Jewelry and accessories. I love minimalistic outfits, but you can give your outfit a little bit sprinkle if it feels boring. And jewelry can also give a little bit more of a personal touch to your outfit. Tie a sweater over your shoulders, use a belt, handbags, a hat or your favorite jewelry. There are so many options and it's a fast way to spruce up a more casual, comfortable outfit. Especially if you aren't feeling well or is in a hurry to run out the door. It will elevate it so much. Next tip. Tuck in what you are wearing on top, if possible. It lengthens your legs and it gives your body more shape. You can do a French tuck, which is just in the front. But lately the full tuck is more on trend. But you choose what you feel comfortable with. Roll up those sleeves. Not just on your shirts, but also on your sweaters. It makes you look more put together, even though... You are wearing an oversized sweater. I hope you got some inspiration from this video and hopefully I see you next time. Bye!